Good morning, story time friends. Welcome to Time for Tales here at the Avondale Library. I'm Miss Corinne, and I hope that you have been doing a lot of reading this summer. Our summer learning theme is Imagine Your Story, all about imagination and the magical things that can happen in a story. Well, another word for imagination is thinking outside the fox. I mean box, did I say fox? Thinking outside the box. And I have a story for you today that's all about thinking outside the fox. I mean box, gosh, I did it again, okay. Well, you know that before we have our story, we need to sing together. So, problem, you have to use a little bit of imagination to solve that problem. And that's what our story is about today. Once upon a time, a farmer was traveling to a nearby town to go to the market. She took with her a goose, a fox, and a basket of corn. Well, before long, they came across a river. There was a boat at the river, but it was only a small boat with only enough room for the farmer to row it and to take one passenger at a time, the fox, the corn, or the goose. Hmm, I have a problem, said the farmer. What if I take the fox first? I'll put the fox first in the boat and I'll take him across and I'll leave the goose and the corn. And the goose said, ooh, corn? I love corn. Fresh corn on the cob, popcorn, creamed corn. Oh no, said the farmer. I can't leave the goose with the corn. The goose will eat the corn while I'm taking the fox across the river. No, 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 no. That won't do at all. I'm gonna have to take the corn across first. And then the fox said, mmm, I love goose. A little bit of roast goose with some mint jelly. Mmm, yummy! Oh no, said the farmer. I can't leave the fox alone with the goose. The fox will eat the goose. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to take the goose across first. Yes, I will take the goose across first and then I'll come back for the fox and I'll take the fox across the river. Oh, but then I have to go back across the river for the corn and that will leave the fox alone with the goose again. I don't have a problem with that, said the fox. Well, I have a problem with it. So I can't do that, but if I take the corn across next, then I'll have to leave the corn with the goose. Mmm, maybe I'll make some cornbread, said the goose. No, 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 this is not going to work. What am I going to do to solve this problem? Well, the farmer thought about it, and she thought about it, and finally, she came up with a solution. She said, I will take the goose across first. Yes, I'll take the goose across, and she did, and then she went back across the river for the corn. She put the corn in the boat, and she rode the corn across. 
Oh, goody, said the goose. I love corn and I am hungry. Not so fast. The farmer put the goose back in the boat and she went back across the river. She left the goose on that side of the river. Mmm, time for lunch, said the fox. No, no, it's your turn to go across the river. So she put the fox in the boat and she took him across the river. And she left the fox with the corn. Ew, corn. I'm a carnivore. I don't want corn. Exactly. She went back across the river and she got the goose. She took the goose across the river and everybody was safely on the other side without anybody eating anybody else. Well, that farmer really had to do some imaginative thinking to come up with a clever solution for his problem. You know who else is clever? The fox. That reminds me of another story. It's actually a song story, and it goes a little bit like this. The fox went out on a chilly night, and he prayed for the moon to give him family ate well that night. Thank you for coming to Storytime. Thank you for coming to hear some stories.